Hello everyone and welcome back to episode number 11 of the Pokemon Sinking Sapphire Nuzlocke. My name is Anar. In the last episode, we had some more intense ass battles. We also explored a couple of routes. In today's episode, uh, we are going to fight the fourth gym on this adventure here in a lava rich town. But before we do that, uh, I'd like to explore this town a little bit because of course we came here last episode and we're exhausted from a terrific effort so i just ended off the episode but we have yet to see pretty much anything from this town so i'm going to do my quick exploring thing which i do when i get to a real town i'll show you guys if i get anything interesting let's explore oh this lady sells us moo moo milks oh please give me a lot of moo moo milks that is a great item we just bought three dozen moo moo milks that's 36 moo moo milks okay we'll be find on healing items for a while now we're gonna find a hidden, a hidden ice heal in the thing right here oh this lady wants to give us an egg oh yes i like an egg oh, okay so i need to make some room yes lady please give me an egg i'm just gonna hatch that right now i put away steelix in the pc real quick i'm just gonna hatch this egg right now so i'm just gonna ride this bike for a million hours and we'll see what the egg is going to be okay so i accidentally clicked a but the egg is hatching. I've got no clue what this is gonna be. It's a why not. Uh, that was not worth the effort. Uh... Oh, well. I just know Wobbuffet from Team Rocket, so I'm just gonna call her Jessie in reference to that. Whatever, at least it's a new encounter, I guess. Oh, we get a free charcoal. Yeah, I'm gonna put that on Ray. That's a way better item for him than the fucking metronome. This guy says he would wish to be able to lay eggs. And that's all I found in Lava Ridge City or Lava Ridge Town. So I guess that leaves a gym for us to be done. So. So, fuck it. Let's go and enter. Alright, so of course this gym is a fire type gym. Before I forget, I'm quickly going to turn off the EXP share since I think we are pretty well leveled again. And let's see what we need to do in this gym. Of course, unless the trainers are interesting, uh, I'm just gonna, going to be fighting them off screen. And I will show you guys anything interesting. If there is any one place in this game where on guard uh, should shine, it should of course be in the fire type gym also i'm literally gonna try and battle every single trainer here to hopefully get on guard up as much levels as possible i just don't want him to get killed man i just want him to 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 succeed in this gym michael grows to level 37 on guard grows to level 38 oh god everyone's leveling up now man for real i can't i like using a sharpedo but my god is it frail literally like if you are not 100 sure you'll be faster and you can oko the opposing Pokemon, you literally have to swap out because it'll die to every single super effective attack in the entire world. Also, if I just kind of look at my team right now, we're actually so frill. We've got so little super defensive Pokemon, you know? Like, we have one physical tank in Steelix. We got one special tank in Mr. Mime. But, like, for the rest, every one of our Pokemon just kind of dies to everything. Oh god, a Darmanitan. I'm not really sure what to do against a Darmanitan, to be honest. First off, we intimidated, and now we just kind of tried to do shit against it. Flareless, it's still probably gonna hurt a lot. Please lift this, Tom. We should lift this. That still does so much damage, though. I'm just gonna let it die to recoil. Alright, never mind. It's dead. I mean, of course, it's easy to say this, but on the other side, we're playing a fucking Doriano game. Like, every single Pokemon is going to be super strong you know but yeah i guess that's the reason why i'm playing this game so nothing to complain about and tom's gonna go to level 39 we're almost getting into the 40s and on guard is going to grow to level 39 all right that's gonna be it for on guard for all the trainers i'm gonna put someone else up front now oh my god wait this is it oh i'm not ready oh i'm not ready i mean i guess we have no other choice all right i'm gonna heal and then we're going to take on flannery okay so this is the plan right now we're gonna lead with Squawks. We're going to confuse Ray, and then we're just going to go from there. All right. Let's do it. This is, again, I really like this environment. I think it's a great environment. Yo, this chick is fucking crazy. Look at her screaming. All right, 
Let's fuck her up. Ah, cheeky fucker. She's gonna lead off with a nine tails to set up the sun, probably. Yeah, there it is. There's the route. I'm gonna do uh, what I wanted to do, though. I'm just gonna lead off with a confuse ray. Hypnosis? That's fine. I kind of just want to stall out the sun right now and then go from there. It's got overheat. Wait. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Thank you. Oh, yo, I totally thought that was going to kill me in the sun, man. Oh, my God. All right, it's gonna hit itself. Perfect. And that's like three turns of sun already. I'm just gonna poison Fang. I don't want this thing dead yet. It's not much of a threat to me right now with minus two special attack. And this is just my chance to get the sun to go away. Overheat? That shouldn't do shit now. Oh, wait, she's probably holding like a heat stone or whatever the fuck that thing's called to put up the sun longer. Yeah, okay, it's, it's gone now. Okay, so now we are in a really good spot. I'm just gonna acrobatics and destroy this thing. Alright, that's the nine tails dead and no more sun right now. We are in a pretty good spot if i say so myself mean look could be handy but i don't think i'm gonna teach it i think i'm just gonna keep with what i have right now all right so now del fox comes in i'm just gonna go out to michael and paralyze it and put a reflect and light screen so we are a bit more secure against this thing overheat wait 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 please don't kill michael we're really specially defensive come on Oh my god, yes! White herb, that's okay, it's now paralyzed. Okay, I'm just gonna heal Michael, and then we should be able to live a total overheat again, right? Yes, perfect, and now it's at minus two special attack. Now it's weak. I'm just gonna take this opportunity to set up my reflect and light screen right now. Alright, now I'm actually gonna go out to on guard and waterfall it, because it... Its damage output should be really low now. Yep, there we go. And now we should be able to just waterfall and like kill in two turns. Never mind, one turn. Okay, so that's its second Pokemon down. I'm really happy with how we are handling this situation right now. And now comes a Houndoom. Can we kill a Houndoom with a waterfall? Well, fuck, I'm gonna be boring. There's no reason to risk it. I'm just gonna go out to Ray and double kick it. Literally no reason for me not to. Yep, and it's dead. Yo, this is going really well right now a torkoal we can just handle that with tom okay it's a shell smash okay that is okay 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 hold on hold on hold on uh we might be in some trouble right now it's using another shell smash okay okay hold on okay we literally need to get one hit off and it's probably dead because it's so frill it's using overheat no that's gonna kill that's gonna kill that's gonna kill oh my god Fucking God. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so we literally have to rely on luck right now. I'm gonna confuse Ray it. If it doesn't get confused now, we probably die. Yes! Okay, it's it itself. Come on, come on, come on. Now we acrobatics and it's dead. Oh my God. God, that was so scary. And we lost a fucking Pokemon. Oh my God. God, man. Tom was such a legendary Pokemon. We've had him since so long. This is so sad right now. Oh, my God. God, man. This 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 camera up is just gonna die in one hit, right? There's no world where it doesn't die. Yeah, there we go. And that was the leader. So, yeah. I don't know what to say. We lost a Pokemon. So, technically, that kind of makes that a loss for me. Oh, well. At least we got through it. And we do get TM50 overheat. Like, honestly, this just shows to me you can be four, five levels over leveled. In a Dryano game, it, it just does not matter. This game... A fuck is a fucking reaper in disguise, okay? It kills your Pokemon under any fucking circumstance. Well, so that's that. So May's going to give like some black glasses or some, some glasses to us, right? To get through the desert. Yeah, the go goggles. So now we can go through the desert. At least we can get an encounter there. And now we have the opportunity to go back to Pedalburg with her to challenge our dad for the fifth gym badge. But I'm gonna give myself a little break here. For now, we just need to put our fallen warrior to rest and say farewell. Thomas 
has helped us a lot through this journey. He was pretty much like a tank to us. But sadly, here he goes. Okay, so now the question becomes, what do we add to our squad now? We lost a normal type. So the obvious answer is to add this Zangus to our squad. And I'm kind of leaning towards it. So fuck it. Rover the Zangus is going to join our squad. I will probably do a little grinding montage with him uh, like maybe next episode or the episode after that or just the episode before we go fight the fifth gym but we will see how all of that goes what i want to do is get to round 111 here and get ourselves a encounter we have been waiting on for a while now so let's see our first encounter on round 111 is going to be oh my god it's a trap pinch oh my god that is a legendary encounter right there oh my god please tell me we can catch this thing i would love a trap inch fuck yes oh my god a trap inch that's such a good pokemon oh i fucking love flygon man this is amazing i love it okay so i have actually called my flygons to this before but according to its pokedex description it likes to like sing in the desert or something so i call it hills song and i think it's, it's a pretty solid nickname maybe not the best nickname but it, it's pretty solid i kind of like it so yeah now it's kind of a situation like what do we do here oh yes i'll take one of these fossils so we need to choose between the root fossil and the claw fossil i'm definitely taking the claw fossil i really want to use an armaldo so yes give me that let me quickly go up here as well and see what's here to explore okay there's some really high level trainers here oh shit we got our first level 40 pokemon we have now officially made it to like pretty much mid game so that is a pog right there and on guard is going to level 40 as well once learned thrash no 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 no. your moveset is pretty much perfect as it is right now oh we're gonna fight a hidden revive a hidden rare candy as well we're gonna fight a hidden protein a hidden pp up a hidden stardust the tm for stand sandstorm very very fittingly but yeah besides a whole bunch of items and trainers there doesn't seem to be much else in the desert so yeah i'm gonna leave the desert alone for now but yeah i think i'm just going to chill in marvel and end of the episode here so in the next episode there will probably be a grinding montage and we are probably going to be fighting the fifth gym right after the fourth gym as well for now though i'm gonna wrap it up here thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys liked it please leave a like subscribe if you are new make sure to answer the question of the day down below and then i hope to see all of you guys in the next episode of pokemon sinking sapphire bye bye